Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video I thought I would do a full face of testing Charlotte Tilbury makeup um, because I've kind of over the last couple of months been a little bit obsessed um, and bought so much makeup from Charlotte Tilbury um, and some of the products I've tried out before but there's quite a lot of stuff that I haven't actually used yet so I really wanted to show you guys my thoughts and show me using it and this is how it turned out so if you'd like to see what products I use then please keep watching okay so I'm just gonna put my clips in I've got these cute little clips from Amazon okay so I'm gonna start with Charlotte's magic serum um, crystal elixir now I use most of this stuff I haven't um, tried before um, but there are some bits of it that I have tried and the skincare bits I use pretty much every day so I have tried this before but I absolutely love it, it's so nice okay so next I'm going to go in with uh, the magic cream <coughs> now obviously again I use this pretty much every single day I think if you if you have got the money and you would happily spend out for like a moisturiser then I would say to get it because it is really really nice. So next I'm going to go in with the Magic Eye Rescue and this is just the eye cream and you do not need a lot of this at all and then I just rub that in under my eyes and over my eyelids. This is a really nice product, but um, yeah, I think you can get other eye creams that are just as good. Okay, and then I'm just going to put on some of the lip oil. Again, I wouldn't buy that again. Um, it is it is nice and it's like a nice place, it's like vanilla. Um, but yeah, you can get any lip balm that will do the same sort of thing. Okay, so for primer, I have... Um, so I've got two primers, um, I've got the Brightening Youth Glow and I've got the Wonder Glow. Um, I've never used this one, I've used, I use this one like every day on its own, um, I'm, when I'm not wearing makeup I always just put this on my skin and this is really really nice, it just gives you like a, like a light glow on your skin. Um, so I'm going to use that one and then I'm going to go in with the Wonder Glow after. Uh, when I put this on and then like I look in the mirror in like um, if I go into the bathroom and I've got like natural light on me it, I just look at my skin and it just looks so nice I have shut my blinds by the way because the sun is shining through okay so now I'm going to go in with the Wonder Glow um, this says turn around tired dull skin in a beauty flash powered by a fluorescent core that converts UV light into skin luminosity for an instant soft focus spotlight effect. Can be used under, over, or instead of foundation. Oh, I never realised that. So that's quite similar to the Flawless Filter then. Obviously, I have used this before in a video, so you know that I've used that. So that is what it looks like. So to me, this seems pretty similar to that brightening youth glow that I've just used um, but it's got a little bit of a tint to it like slight tint it hasn't got coverage or anything but just a little bit of colour but yeah you don't need both of them they <laughs> basically do the same thing okay so for foundation um, I actually ordered about two months ago when I ordered all this all of like a lot of this stuff um, I ordered the airbrush flawless foundation um, but there was a problem with it and I still haven't got it so I've been waiting and waiting so yeah I do really really want to try that one um, because I love the powder but yeah like I said I haven't got it so I'm going to go in with the magic foundation and then obviously I'm going to use the flawless filter over the top of it um, I got mine in the shade 6 medium it's quite thick that's just one pump so I'm just going to go in with that first 
um, and then if I need more coverage I'll add more coverage. So I've just put that pump on my hand but I completely forgot that I've got um, one of the colour correctors. It just looks like that, as you can see I've swatched it, and I've got the shade One Fair. So I'm just going to put this on just before I put my foundation on because I don't want to put the colour corrector on over the top of it. So I'm just going to I'm hoping that this will get rid of my dark circles because they are so bad. I've actually just realised that I've had my fan on the whole time. Um, so I'm really sorry if that was an annoying noise. It has kind of got rid of them. So hopefully when we put like the foundation and concealer on, we won't be able to see them. Okay, so I'm just going to go in with the foundation. This is really thick. Um, I think this foundation is a matte finish. Um, I'm sure online this one is is the matte one. Where it is quite thick, it, like it's using up a lot of the product. So I've only done like this part of my face and I've got nothing left. So I'm just going to take another pump. But to be fair, that other foundation brush that I used, um, <clears throat> I find that that soaks up a lot of product. That could be another reason why. So even though this is a matte finish, my skin is still looking glowy from, from them products that we put on underneath. Yeah, see, it's much better with um, not using that brush. Okay, so I'm just patting over every everywhere so I don't have any lines. Also, on the areas where I feel like I need a little bit more coverage. I actually really like the finish of it. I'm kind of... I think I've mentioned before, I don't really like to wear highlighter anyway, so I'm kind of like a matte finish um, kind of girl. Oh, I would definitely, definitely get that foundation again. It's like a really nice coverage. As I say in every single video, I have obviously not amazing skin. Um, it's a lot better from when I first started. So I am getting there with my skin. Um, but obviously it just takes a long time. But yeah, and I feel comfortable with how much it's covered. So that's obviously was a good thing for me. Okay, so now I'm just going to go in with the... Hollywood Flawless Filter and I have mine in the shade 4 Medium but I know that this is obviously like I said used this before you guys probably have well I've used it in a video before so but yeah I usually use this pretty much every time I wear makeup so I just blob it like randomly all over my skin and then just go in with the same brush and just pat it in. So this gives you the tiniest bit of coverage, but it's not really a product to use for coverage. It's more like it just gives you like a luminous effect on your skin. So obviously where I've just used that foundation that's matte, it's just made my skin like naturally glowy. And see, that's what I like. I like to have a naturally glowy skin um, so even though I don't like highlighter I do like my skin to still glow but like a natural glow so I find with highlighter obviously because it's like glitter and um, putting like a sheen of that on my skin I don't think in my opinion that looks natural um, not on me anyway I just don't like the look of that so that's why I try to get my skin to just overall look glowy. For concealer, I've actually got two concealers. Um, so I've got the Magical Way Liquid Concealer and this is in the shade 3 Fair. And then I've also got the Retoucher. Uh, the Retoucher Conceal and Treat Stick. And this is in the shade 2 Fair. So... This one's like one of them brush things. This is a sponge applicator. So I've not actually used this one before. The other one I've tried, I think I just swatched it just to see what the coverage was like. So I'm just gonna blob this on. It's a nice applicator, but it's just a little bit weird. I don't really know how I should use it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna blend it out with my brush. 
that's actually a really nice concealer it's not thick and I don't really like a thick concealer I quite like something that's liquidy but um, well as you guys know I, I like to use concealer pots quite a lot but that's because I can kind of judge how much I, I take out the pot so I can literally just dab it in and it just gives me a tiny amount I don't necessarily like concealers that are really thick because I find on my skin they look quite cakey but this one's actually really nice because it's giving me the coverage it's not thick and it doesn't look cakey under my eyes my skin actually looks flawless and now I'm just going to go over the top with that um, the retoucher just slightly this actually is what shade? this is number 2 and it is quite dark doesn't look like it on camera but it's um, it's not like a brightening again that's a really nice consistency so it's not it's not thick um, but yeah you you don't need both and I think if I was to recommend one I'd probably recommend the Magic Away liquid concealer just because this is more this is more of like a retoucher well obviously that's what it's called but it's like it's more to just touch up areas so I suppose this would be quite good to take out with you in your bag or whatever and then if you just got an area you felt needed to touch up or whatever throughout the day you could just use that but yeah it doesn't really give you like concealer coverage like the Magic Away one does see because the sun keeps coming in and out the light keeps changing I'm just going to go in with my airbrush flawless finish powder in the shade 2 medium and again this is another product that you I have used on my channel absolutely love this and I'm just going to use this to set my under eyes because I don't want them to crease and then I just do my eyelids as well this powder is amazing like it actually is amazing I could not recommend this powder enough so I'm just doing like my t-zone area not that I get that oily but I like that area to look quite matte so now I'm going to use my Hollywood contour wand um, mine is in the shade fair to medium so you twist that bit and then you oh yeah look you squeeze it out so I'm just gonna I don't know how kind of like pigmented it is okay so it's not not too pigmented which is good because i i don't like it sometimes when you have like a liquid bronzer or if you use a concealer in a darker shade and you put it on and then like you try and rub it in and it just blends everywhere this is quite a nice nice consistency i'm actually going to put a little bit more on especially around my forehead now i know that it's not that I reckon um, if you were to just use the Hollywood Flawless filter all over your face with like no other foundation or anything on and then just use some of this I reckon that would look really nice yes I really like that and then I'm gonna go in with the Hollywood Beauty Light wand and this is in the shade Spotlight and this is the same thing so it's got one of them again and you twist it but did I lock that? No. Yeah, make sure you lock it. Otherwise, you can still squeeze it and you like, might get product in the end of the lid. So, yeah, twist it. Squeeze it out. Like that. So, yeah, I don't like too much highlighter, as I've said many times. So, I'm only going to use the tiniest bit of this. But I just wanted to get it just to try it because I don't think it's going to be anything too blinding. So I think it will probably be quite quite nice. Wow, you don't need a lot of this at all. Yeah, this is actually really nice as well. Because it doesn't look like a highlighter, it just makes your skin look naturally glowy. So it doesn't look like... Sorry, I'm like twisting my head around. It doesn't look like I've just gone and sweet loads of highlighter on my skin. They are expensive, but you do like you do get decent products out of it okay so for my contour and highlight i've got the film star bronze and glow 
face sculpt and highlight. So I've heard that this is actually really nice. So you obviously you have a contour shade and then a highlight shade. Um, and the highlight is not like anything crazy blinding. So again, hopefully it just sits nice over the top of that and it won't make me feel like I've got proper highlighter on. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the sculpt shade first. It's actually more bronzy than I thought. I thought it was going to be uh, like really, really cool toned. This was one of the products that I was least excited for. I'm just going to go in with the highlight side. Now this I am scared for because I don't want too much. Okay, it is really, really pigmented, but it's um, it's not too bad. I probably like I probably wouldn't buy this again just because. I mean, it is actually a really nice product. Like, that highlighter looks really nice on my skin. I don't know, maybe one day I'll go back to loving highlighter. But just at the moment, it's just not really my thing. Okay, so for blusher, over the top of my liquid blusher, I'm going to go in with the Cheek to Chick... Cheek? Cheek to Chick? Cheek to Chick? I don't know, I ever know how you say that. Swiss... Swish and Pop Blusher in the shade Ecstasy. So that's what the blusher looks like. And then that's it inside. So it, I watched a video where she said you kind of like swish and pop. So I think that's how you're meant to apply it. So it like you swish around the, the outside of it and then you pat that bit in the middle. And them colours are actually really similar to the two liquid ones that I used. I'm just using the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer and blusher brush as well. Oh, I absolutely love blusher. I think it really just finishes your face off. Like it just gives you that colour that you need to just make yourself look like healthy and natural. So for bronzer I'm going to use the airbrush bronzer and this is in the shade 2 medium. Now this is absolutely huge. Like look at it compared my lights are in the way but if you compare the two sizes it is massive and it is such a nice bronzer now this is medium so it's still a really nice color when i ordered it i actually ordered number three um which is i think tan um but yeah they sent me number two so i was a bit like oh and i thought should i send it back but then i just thought, do you know what, I compared it to like my MAC one and stuff and I thought it was actually quite a nice colour. So, yeah, I just kept it and it is actually really nice. It's such a nice bronzer, I've used this so many times. Because it, it's almost like, obviously it's called the airbrush bronzer. but um, And the powder that obviously I love is, um, is the airbrush powder as well. So it's like they're from the same little kind of family. So it's almost like it's the exact same formula as the powder, but obviously in a bronze shade. I think this is like £39, but I absolutely love this bronzer. I would definitely buy this again. I did actually buy as well the airbrush, which is what they brought out when they brought the bronzer out. But I really don't like it. Like, it's really quite hard, and I find when I'm putting it on, I like more of like a powdered brush for my bronzer so this one the bristles are like really soft so when I do it it just kind of sweeps on whereas this I found when I was putting it on it was almost like it was a buffing brush so yeah I'm really not a fan of that brush and that was quite pricey in itself I can't remember how much it was but I know it wasn't the cheapest of things so I'm just going to go in with a little bit of Charlotte's Genius Magic Powder which is under eye and face powder um, this is just her loose powder but I just want to set a little bit more just in the middle of my face just because I find that that's where my makeup disappears the most especially around my mouth area but I'm loving how glowy my skin is so I really don't want to get rid of that and I, I love that blusher oh my god my cheeks just look so good okay so next I'm gonna use the full fat lashes Five star mascara. Five star. Oh, okay. It says curl separation volume length drama. So, just looks like a mascara. 
and the wand is like that. Um, I actually got this one um, free, but I have heard good things about Charlotte Tilbury's mascaras. Um, to be fair, I probably wouldn't have purchased it just because I don't know. Mascara is like one of them things. I just I know that I love the Benefit mascara, and it's just yeah. I just find if you've if you've got a mascara, you don't really want to be opening loads of mascaras because they just go off. So yeah, and I just love my Benefit one, but um, I have actually heard that Charlotte Tilbury's mascaras are good. And to be fair, I never used to be one to buy mascaras because I always had like, individual lashes on. But now I am. Um, I've done a lash lift on my own eyelashes, and I'm actually loving how my lashes look without any falsies on. So I'm gonna just keep the more natural eyelashes so now maybe I will you know look at decent mascaras and stuff yeah so that mascara is like perfectly fine it's, it's nothing amazing like I said I wouldn't have purchased it and now I've used it I still wouldn't purchase it it's just like an ordinary mascara so I didn't get any eyeshadow um just because I don't wear eyeshadow I, I really don't like eyeshadow anymore I just prefer like I'll put a little bit of bronzer in my crease or Sometimes like I'll go in with my bronzer brush and brush over um, like my eyelids and just leave it like that. Um, but yeah, I just prefer more of a natural look and I just wasn't drawn to any of the eyeshadow palettes that like she has on her website. So um, yeah, I didn't get any eyeshadow products and I also didn't get any eyebrow products um, again because I just thought, well, I like my eyebrow products and it's probably just a waste of money so yeah i'm gonna go and do my eyebrows off camera um i'll just be using my benefit products that i've used before um and then i'll come back and then we can do the lips okay so i've just done my eyebrows um so now i'm on to lips so for lips i've got so many lip products so i've got a lip cheat which is reshape and resize lip liner in the shade Pink Venus. So it's just like a pinky nude. Um, I've then got a, I don't know, just one of the lipsticks. I don't know what it's actually called. Um, in the shade Bitch Perfect. Again, like pinky nude. All of these colors are basically the same. They're just all different like formulas. Um, I've then got one of the Hollywood Lips, which is another pinky nude. This is in Platinum Blonde. Then I've got this one, which is in the shade Sexy Lips. That's more of like a darker colour. Um, and I think that's more of like a balm lipstick. I don't really know. I've, I've not used that one. Well, I've not used any of these, actually. Um, and then I've got like a lip gloss in sweet stiletto which looks like that so i'm gonna use these three so actually let's put a little bit of this balmy one on so it just gives like you could actually make that like prop a full-on pigmented lipstick if you wanted to so i'm just gonna line my lips and then i'm gonna go over the top with the lipstick that is such a nice colour. And I actually think I'd probably prefer that without the um, the first one that we put on. Because it's quite like a peachy, peachy nude colour. Um, and then I'm just going to go over the top with the lip gloss. Yeah, I love that lip combo. Um, I probably wouldn't put the first one on. Just because I feel like it's made it look a little bit darker. Like if I swatch this on the back of my hand, you can see it's quite peachy and it still is peachy but i just find that that first one made my lips a little bit darker so guys that is the finished look what do you think um my favorite products are definitely obviously i love all the skincare because i use it every day um magic cream is unreal um but yeah i'd probably say the flawless filter is a must that is so so nice um i really liked the called beauty light wand and the contour wand obviously you know i love the powder and the bronzer 
definitely definitely this bronzer is such a nice bronzer and it just looks so natural it doesn't look orange it's just yeah love it so they are probably my top products that i would recommend let me know what you guys think really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next one bye